What's up everybody? Go Burns with another trailer breakdown. Today, Thomas Burke, the anarchist. How long can a man be pushed before he starts pushing back? And if you want to check out the trailer for yourself, it is linked below in the description section. And for all my trailer breakdowns, New Bordeaux Tribune, brochure, Lincoln Clay case file, postcards, backstories, all thing Mafia 3 can be found in my Mafia playlist. So let's get into it, shall we? Breaking down this very short trailer. It was only like 40 seconds long, but there's some interesting things we discover. First off, Thomas is Burke's first name. But to be honest, I think I'm just going to continue to calling him Burke. I like Burke better. We could call him Thomas or Tom or Tommy. No, not Tommy. We'll just stick with Burke. So this image is what first appears in the breakdown. It goes forward, very similar to the Cassandra and Lincoln trailers over the past few weeks. It shatters. Then you see an image of Burke with his badass look in 1911-45. I love that gun, even though obviously it's going to be called something else in Mafia 3. They're renaming all the weapons, I guess for uh, patent copyright reasons, which makes sense. Okay, so yeah, that's a sweet looking gun. I love it. All right, so anyways, it goes forward, and then of course eventually leads to this image, where it you know basically makes the case that Thomas Burke is the leader of the Irish Syndicate, and obviously, in the back, you see Burke's medals, or iron and medals, and this is where he resides. This is his base, the scrapyard, and this is where you're going to be able to find Burke in Mafia 3, along with the Irish Syndicate, and it seems pretty obvious that he's involved with the scrapping business, and perhaps even something a little bit more shady, like the theft of cars throughout New Bordeaux that was in yesterday's New Bordeaux Tribune article. And I believe it was part of the uh, case files on Monday leading up to this trailer talking about how somebody is stealing cars, chopping them up, and having the parts shipped overseas or to other parts of the country, maybe Lost Heaven or Empire Bay or elsewhere, in order to make a tidy profit. So I get the feeling that Burke is probably behind the uh, car choppy choppy business. Okay, so next, of course, the reason why he is uh, lying himself with Lincoln Clay is somehow he gets disgraced by the mafia and it looks like he's about to get a knuckle sandwich. He's probably tied down now in a chair, unable to defend himself because I get the feeling that a guy like Burke, if you throw a punch at him, he's going to throw a couple back at you and probably knock your ass on the ground. And this is obviously not what he ordered. I think he wanted a burger with some fries on the side not a knuckle sandwich. So we're going to find out when Mafia 3 comes out in just about two months what exactly happens to Burke that sets him off against the Mafia. Now the next image discusses something that's in the title regarding Thomas Burke being an anarchist with no fear. And obviously an anarchist is somebody who does not like authority. They don't care for anyone in power, or anyone controlling their lives. And you could probably say that he is an anarchist against Sal Marcano. For whatever the Marcano crime family did to him, he is, you know, obviously rebelling against it. And he has no fear. He's going to do whatever it takes to rid New Bordeaux of Sal Marcano and the Marcano crime family. Because that's what anarchists are kind of about. They don't like being controlled or bossed around by, you know, government or authoritarian figures either or. So another thing we learn about Burke, and of course, he is hunting the mob, and you see some explosions in the background. It looks like Lincoln Clay's muscle car. So it's quite possible. My theory is that in order to upgrade your car, maybe you'll have to go to Burke in order to upgrade your fleet of cars. So that's just a theory I have. And uh, I believe that, uh, see, Lincoln, yeah, Lincoln is in the uh, driver's seat of this muscle car. And it would make sense. If Burke runs the chop shop, obviously he has mechanics at his disposal. And he has a wide variety of parts from these vehicles that he's, you know, you know <laughs> taken off the streets of New Bordeaux. Like engines, brakes, exhausts, etc. That would, you know, go a long ways towards upgrading Lincoln's fleet of cars. So it'll be interesting if Burke actually ties into your abilities to upgrade your vehicles in Mafia 3. And of course, he has a new family because he's not the only one that's been done wrong by Sal Marcano. 
You also have uh, Cassandra. She's been done wrong. Vito and Lincoln Clay. We all know Lincoln Clay's story. He was part of the Black Mob. They were betrayed by Sal Marcano. Most of them were massacred, left for dead, except for Lincoln Clay, who wants vengeance against Sal Marcano. And that's why he's creating this new family with Burke, Cassandra, and Vito to take down Marcano and take over as the new criminal empire of New Bordeaux. So along with his new family, Burke seeks to control New Bordeaux. He wants the criminal control under his new family where everything goes through them and Sal Marcano and the Marcano crime family are, you know, gator food. They're, they're floating down the river, what's left of them. He wants them out of the way. And here's one of the other uh, new images we see of Burke, too, actually, where he's wearing <laughs> overalls and, uh, you know, nice little uh, sleeveless shirt. He's got uh, what appears to be a tool in his hand. And... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just thought that was funny. Anyway, so uh, next image, of course, is he either wants to control New Bordeaux or he wants to burn it to the ground. So obviously, Burke is a man that likes having options. Either A, he and his new family are going to take control of New Bordeaux or he's just going to simply let the whole bourbon city burn to the ground. Either or is fine with Burke. And of course, the motto of Mafia 3, family isn't who you're born with, it is who you die for. And let me know below in the comment section, what do you think of Thomas Burke and Cassandra Vito? Which of these three lieutenants is your fave? And of course, Mafia 3 is coming October 7th to Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC.